Now, just before you sit, we're going to have fellowship because you see that our house is packed with guests this morning. And we're going to do it the arms way. We're going to go around and do a quick fellowship. Amen? Come on, let's move abroad real quick. Come on, come on, come on, fellowship this morning. I can't do. I can't do magic by the Lord. Hey. Praise His holy name. Lift Jesus high. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. I just can't do magic by the Lord. I just can't do glory by hey. I just can't do praise the Lord. Anybody came to magnify Him?
rejoice the Lord. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah, what a great occasion. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, my enemies. Praise the Lord, my friends. Praise the Lord, my everybody. Praise ye the Lord. Let's get the Lord a hand clapping on this morning. For God is a great God. He's worthy. From the rising of the sun through the going down. I have found him to be the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank and praise God for his goodness, for his mercy, for his grace, unmerited favor, God, grace. Have blessed us to see a whole week closed in our right mind, got our health and strength, was able to feed ourselves, but able to lift the water to our lips and said, thanks be to God. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for our pastor, my brother, my friend. We used to fight at the house and we got through fighting. We still had to play with one another. So in this absence today, we thank God for him, for the work that he has done and where God had brought him from. Hallelujah. From a very short time. God has brought this church a mighty long way. And as I was thinking yesterday, working in the heat, trying to get a place to get recruited and get by myself and be with the Lord, like every time I turned around, it was something to do. It was heat was working back and forward. And I would praise God. I thought about the, how he started out in his living room and how he started there and God blessed him to increase and he moved from his house to up there on Forest Drive, Oak Drive and I seen the Oak Drive? Oak Forest? Yeah, Oak Forest. I'm bad on names, y'all be with me. Y'all called me Stanley a while ago, that's my name, Stanley. If you want to get a little bit more common with my nickname is Bunny. Hallelujah. When they had problems at school with my sister and brother, they said go get Bunny. Hallelujah. And I will talk to them and let them know we don't operate like that. We don't have nobody mistreating our sisters. We don't have nobody fighting our brothers unless we know about it. Amen? So now we're in a different fight. We're in a war zone. But tested and trials come not to tear you down, but to make you strong. And we are, some people are still having problems with tested and cry. Your sister Deborah, you can come on up and get Colossians chapter 2 verse 2. And to see him grow from there to here and to see the place caught on fire and, and think about Ezra when uh, Jerusalem was burnt down and how God gave him a charge to go forward. I'm here to let you know you're going to have some circumstances in this Christian walk. And hallelujah, but we are here to be steadfast, unmovable. Hallelujah. I know who I serve, and I know who rule, and I know who keep the house. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God. My thought 
the, I feel that the Lord gave me on this day a word or two making preparation and I'm sure you know what the word preparation means and when you use preparation you got to have assurance that it's going to stand and this Christian walk as we walk with God and we come to find out what we are mixed up in and God opened the darkness in front of us and show us his marvelous light. And when he show us this light, Jesus said, when I was in the world, I was the light of the world. But since I'm gone away, ye are the lights. Let your light so shine before men and women and boys and girls that they may glorify my Father which is in heaven. Yeah. On today we thank and praise God for his goodness, for his mercy, for his multitudes of mercy. Hallelujah. Lamentation 321 says, every morning God renew us, brand new mercy. Brand new mercy. Hallelujah. You like it like that, huh? If you like it like that, clap your hands and look at somebody and say glory to God. Some of y'all didn't look at nobody. Somebody look at somebody. Say glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm looking at all of y'all faces now. Hallelujah. I serve a God who looks set high and look low. Hallelujah. And I'm happy to be baptized in Jesus' name. And filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm just going to try to simulate Sing a song, a portion of this song. And you listen to it. It shall be like in the evening time, the path of glory you will surely find. It's the waterway, it's the light today, baptized in Jesus' name. I'm a little bit young and old. Repent of all your sin. You know what? And the Holy Ghost will enter in. The evening time has come. It's a fact that God and Christ are one. It shall be like in the evening time. The path of glory you will surely find. It's the waterway. It's the lights today. Baptized in Jesus' name. Holy sin and the Holy Ghost will enter in. Come on, clap your hands with me. The evening time has come. It's a fact that God and Christ are one. Young and old. Repent of all your sins. Stop doing this stuff. And the Holy Ghost will enter in. The evening time has come. It's a fact that God and Christ are one. has come it's a fact that God in Christ are one somebody say glory lift up your hands and say glory lift up your hands and say glory hallelujah but the Bible said make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land that's mean everybody 
not some of you, but everybody. And if you want to be saved, you got to participate. You got to make preparation in order to get to God's kingdom. You can't make it there on your own concordance. You can't make it there doing what you want to do is that God understand. He understand way more than you think he understand. Hallelujah. And he's a God that you can't trick. He's a God that you can't hide. He's a God that sees everything you do. He said, I know your thoughts even when they are afar off. That's God. If you can trick God, you let me know because I can't find nobody can trick him. The dumbness of God is smarter than our dumbness. Let the church say hallelujah. So if you think you're smarter than God, I feel sorry for you. Preparation and assurance with God. In the book of Colossians, well, Paul was the uh, writer as I was reading, he was not really in the vicinity of this place. But hearers heard the gospel. And they was able to go back to the community and start a church. In this Christian world, we hear the word of God and we know God is speaking to our hearts and he is speaking into our minds and our spirits telling us to make a change and to make preparation and you see how this world is deteriorating you see the ups and downs you see the anxiety of the people are waxing cold but if you got assurance in god i guarantee you he will see you through any situation that you are going through in this life what is up or down or in the valley lift up ye heads all ye gates and the lord of glory shall guide you and keep you in perfect peace he said i will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding that is the word of God. How can you give me a peace that surpasses all understanding? You got people committing suicide. You got people doing all ungodly things and you walk around them every day. You see them in the streets. You see them walking up and down the streets. But if God has given you peace that surpasses all those things, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read that, Sister Deborah, chapter 2, verse 2, verse 3. Colossians, chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. That their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love. Knit together. We got to be knitted together in the church of God. Young and old. God wanted us to be knitted together. He want us to work together. But now we find ourselves fighting against one another. Fighting against power. Fighting against position. Fighting against ourselves. Instead of fighting against the wars of the enemy. Read. And unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. Full assurance of the understanding of the word of God. My friend, I want you to know for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. I want you to know that he saved Noah in the family of God. Assurance. Build me up. And he built it. And the people were going around playing and dancing and gambling and doing everything that they wanted to do and big and bad enough that they wanted to do, but he kept on building the ark. We take it lightly. We got time. I'm going to do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is not promised to me or you or nobody else. We got to make our calling and election sure. We got to make our calling and election sure upon the plan of salvation which God has given us to be holy because no man can see God unless he is holy. 
He said, I came that you may have life and that you may have life more abundantly. How that you going to have life more abundantly when you won't come to prayer, when you won't come to Bible class, when you won't come to Sunday morning service. But he said, forsake not to assemble yourself together. You were born with a price. You were baptized in Jesus' name. You were filled with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. That the Spirit of God give the other it. And he got us sitting in heavenly places. I don't want nobody to take my place. I don't want nobody to take my seat. And I'll be on the outside looking in. Hallelujah. You're going to have conflicts. You're going to have testers and trials. I have testers and trials. I thought about it on yesterday the woman that asked Jesus for food. He said, Don't you know it's not good to give food to the dogs mm. or insults? In my day, I would have walked away from it. Not good to give food to the dogs. Yeah. Right. 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 Huh? Well, I looked at myself. I said, Lord, if we get offended, we need to think about the woman that had, that Jesus said it's not fit to give food to the dogs. And she replied, Yea, Lord. Huh? <laughs> yea, Lord. The dog desired the crumbs that fall from the master table. She didn't get offended. She didn't talk back from what I could see. She didn't run off at the mouth and try to straighten Jesus out. She said, I desire the crumbs that fall from the master table. My friend, if you want Jesus to bless you and you want to be sitting in heavenly places, you got to make preparation to get there. It ain't time for no playing around. It ain't time for no kidding around with your soul. Your soul is too precious. Hell is too hot. And eternity is too long for some cigarette preacher, no good deacon, whatever he's going to do, surmising and playing with your soul. Your soul is too precious. And every soul is secret to God. Hallelujah. We got to make our calling and election sure. You got to be holy in season and out of season. Regardless of what folks say about you, you got to stay under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and in the leadership and lean not to your own understanding that he may direct your path. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want nobody playing with my soul. I don't want nobody telling me a lie that won't benefit my soul. But David said, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Dealing with obedience. Huh? Dealing with obedience. Huh? The blessings of obedience. Read it. Verse 1. Yes, ma'am. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Uh huh. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently. What it mean, hearken diligently? Obey. Buckle down. Get yourself together. Buckle down. And find out if they're leading you right to the path of righteousness and to the plan of God for the plan of salvation that he has left for us to go by. Read. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What God? Our God. To do what? To observe and to do all his commandments. All of his commandments. Thank you, Jesus. Which I command thee this day. This day. You are not just sitting in here looking and entertaining. We're not up here just playing around and trying to do a show. But your soul needs to be made preparation to get up out of here. My Lord. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high Woo! above all nations of what the earth. What nations? The heathens. Don't you know we was heathens? To the Abraham, we were dogs. A dog would do anything. A dog would go with his own mama. 
Mm. That's what the Gentiles done. Yeah, turn around and go with your children. That's what they did. But it got to be some separation done. Come out from among them, said the Lord. And be ye separated. Walk in the light. And it will one light, one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Lord have mercy. And this came to my mind also. You ain't dealing with no baby in the manger no more. <laughs> Let's get out of the manger. Let's get out of the bottle. Let's get out of the stroller. He ain't no baby no more. Hallelujah. I, told this, I couldn't think of something about Mary had a little lamb. Huh? Mary had baby Jesus. And baby Jesus walked up on this earth. Healing the sick. Raising the dead. Giving answer to the lawyers and the doctors. And made a statement, Lord, if it be not my will, but let thy will be done. It's time out for our will. Time is running out, ladies and gentlemen. California's on fire. Houses burning up. Mudslides killing people. Airplanes falling on houses. I was sitting out in the parking lot Wednesday or Thursday. And I was sitting in my truck. The sun hit the top of the truck. I, I said, what in the world was that? I don't know if it was a bullet fell out the element or what it was. But we walking around every day under God's grace. A, a rock can fall out the sky and go from your head all the way down to your foot from the speed of that fall. And we're walking around not making preparation. Huh? But I have the assurance. The song said, Blessed assurance. Huh? Jesus is mine. I, I can already taste him or foretaste of it. <laughs> huh? I know I can taste it because he's in me. The ocean the say, The Bible said, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. <laughs> you know I'm glad and I'm happy glad that I've been cared for in the speech. You know, I was coming out of Ken, Ella Cassandra, Ella Walker. And I was getting on the interstate. Sister. Cersei. And I was pulling up on the interstate, driving. Young man was running his mouth, talking. I'm looking in the mirror, trying to get on the interstate. And the Lord spoke a word to me out of my ear. I said, please be quiet. Don't you know what the Lord just told me? He said, what the? You can read it all day long. But when you got assurance from God, yeah. Sister Cersei, and Sister Oda, he told me, he said, I never leave you, huh? nor will I forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the world. Let somebody say glory. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. That's what I want. I want the benefits. But David said, what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits? I want you to know it's some benefits in making preparation and serving God with assurance that he is mine. Let somebody say glory. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Shall overtake thee. Huh? Overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Blessed shall I be in the city. He watches over us while we sleep at night. When we park our cars. Hallelujah. Blessed be in the city. Hallelujah. And blessed be thou in the, in the field. We used to raise a field. We used to have gardens. And we had good gardens. Don't you know God got to get an increase for the gardens to grow? Don't you know God got to give access to you that you may enter into his grace? Hallelujah. Read Ephesians 3.16. 
of the ocean, the air, sir. Let somebody say glory. Now he's saying no glory to my cousin here. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. I'm happy, glad. Thank you, Jesus. I remember one night, such a night, she was preached, but testifying, and she said she wasn't happy, but she was happy, glad. She put two of them in one. So I'm happy, glad. Hallelujah. When I know that no, 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 54 and 17, Sister Jack Rest, Lord, that's a good confirmation there. No weapon formed against us <laughs> shall prosper. Oh, yes. Blessed thou be in the field. My Lord. Blessed shall be the fruits of thy body. Don't you know if you serve God in the beauty of holiness? And the wages of sin and death, if you stay away from sin, if you stay away from a lot of foolishness, if you stay away from around a lot of gossiping, if you stay away from around a misleading stuff, you will feel a whole lot better because the Bible tells you, so is a man thinketh, so is he. I had a friend told me, he said he ain't going to get old, he's just going to walk around and he is old. He's going to walk around and see other folk get old and die. So the man thank it. So if he thank that, blessed is he. Hallelujah. Read Ephesians 3.16. Listen. That he would grant you according Wait, to the... Wait, that he would what? Grant you... Grant, what do grant me? Give it to you. Huh? He'll give it to you. And we walking around, don't have walking around in anxiety. Walking around can't get what we want when we serve the God of this universe. Walking around can't get what we want when he told Joshua to put the 12 stones around the walls of Jericho and they walked around on ground water and when they went back across, the bank would see the full strength of falling water. Somebody say glory. Lord. That's the kind of God I want to serve. Hey! But if you disobey, you need to check out Aiken. We got to be found obeying. What shall it profit a man to gain this whole world? According to his what? According to his riches and his glory. His glory. Huh? Come on with it. To be strengthened with the might by his spirit. You know you ain't got no might. Whatever the Lord didn't give you, he gave it to you. Your boyfriend didn't give it to you. Your sugar daddy didn't give it to you. Your husband didn't give it to you. That's right. But God gave it to you. Every idea that somebody else say yeah. If you want to serve the Lord, 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 you want to serve the Lord. I want to get loose. I want to get ridiculous. I want to get nasty with the Lord. Because he has done so much for me. I want to be like David when his clothes fell off of him. We were walking in Jerusalem. Saul killed thousands. But David did now. That's the kind of God I'm serving. Hallelujah. I want to serve a God when his people walk around the walls of Jericho. He said, don't y'all say a mumbling word. Listen to this now. When God tell you something, do the man of God. He said, we're going to go on a three-day fair. Oh, Lord. For my medicine. I got to take my medicine. Huh? I'm going to get sick. I know I'm going to get sick. Huh? Don't you know they had sickness back there? Huh? I'm gonna get sick. I'm gonna have to talk to the pastor. It's too hot. Huh? It's too hot. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I probably do it on Sunday when it's, I ain't got nothing to do. Ain't nobody to bother me. I cut the phone off. Huh? Oh glory. But when you, but when you go across, walking around the walls of Jericho, don't say a mumbling word. Don't even talk to each other. Keep walking around seven times. But well, I'm trying to get you to understand when the man of God give you a charge and tell you to fast and pray. 
Get away from the television. He can't see you when you're sitting there watching television. Huh? Desperate housewives. Huh? I don't even look at it. Huh? Witch wives. Whole wives. All this ungodly stuff. They need to show poor wife for the poor wife can show them how to live a moral life. I say it again. They need to show poor wife on television. For the poor wife can show you how to raise your families. You gonna call the fast? But we're gonna walk around the wall seven times. Nobody say a mumbling word. And after the seven times. The Trump is going to blow. Oh, yes. Huh? The people are going to shout. Hallelujah. Huh? And the, and the wall is going to fall down. Uh -huh. Y'all take it easy on these prostitutes. And pray for them. It was a holiday that got them in there. And hid them. Huh? Don't look at folks when they're walking down the street with their pants, 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 and when their pants are hanging down, pray for them. Come on, sister. Grant you that he, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory. And I'm getting some of them. I'm going to get some more of them. Because I like them. The riches. To be strengthened with, the, with might by his spirit in the inner man. What is the inner man? So the order our inner man got to be fed. Yes, if you don't feed him, so the able that flesh going to fight, cuss, steal, rebuild, and everything else. Uh -oh, right you're going to cuss, and you're going to fuss, and you're going to be a nagging woman and a nagging man. Wow. <laughs> Somebody said, okay. okay. Hallelujah. I want to be a good husband to my wife. That's right. Huh? But I had to make prep prep preparation. I had to do that. I had to get me out the way, and I'm still getting me out the way. The Lord told me himself, he said, what you think is important ain't important. He said, you're selfish. When you could have been praying for somebody else, you had your mind on yourself. It ain't about you. It's about the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What Paul is having in the book of Romans, chapter 12, he said, I beseech ye, brethren, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable doing the will of God in Caesar, out of Caesar, overtake, undertake. You're going to have tests and trials. I have tests and trials. Boss man got on me so bad. I called somebody looking for stuff to accuse me of. I listened to him on the phone. He just, whoo, wah, 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 wah. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get it taken care of. And the man that started all the stuff out there in the sun with me, he said the crew about to have a heat stroke. You better be careful how you put your people Put your mouth on God's people. You better be careful how you put your mouth on each other. Because in our days, my ears are not so dim that I can't hear you. My hand is not so short that I can't touch you. You don't want the Lord to touch your body and afflict your body. He'll get you. Keep your mind steadfast. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4. And this heavy here. I like this. I ate it up yesterday and still eating it up. 
It tasted good to me. My Lord. Huh? Mm -hmm. I chewed on it. Okay. And I got the Bible last night and went back and got it again. The fourth chapter, fourth verse. Mm. Now the devil know that Jesus was the Son of God. He know that he was the Messiah. Right. Because no man could do these miracles except God be with him. A man born of the flesh, of the seed of God, through the word of God, the angel went to Mary, said, you have been found favor among women that shall bring forth a son, and that shall call his name Emmanuel, interpreted with God in the flesh. God in the flesh. God in creation. Son in redemption. Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. And what did he say? Four and four. But he answered and said. Look what Jesus said to the. Now the, if the devil tempted the son of God. And know that he had power. Right. He know you got power. Yes. Acts 1 and 8 says you shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. What's your name? So there, you know what I stopped saying? So I, I stopped saying, Lord, give me the power. Because I already got the power. Right. Huh? Ain't that what the word said? You shall receive power. Brother Jimmy, you shall receive power. Come on, say somebody take. Somebody say power with me. Power. That ain't no good praise right there. Mm. Let's do it again. Somebody say power. We ready to walk around the walls of Jericho now. We want everybody to be on one accord. Say power. Power. Oh, yes. Power of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive power. Read verse 4. It said what? It is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. What? <laughs> Man shall not live by bread alone. Bread alone? But by what? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Sister Griffin, every word. That's all I got to do is just stand on his word. Stand on his promises. If he can keep Joseph in the, in the thing, he got dumped in and got in the prison. Humbled himself. Became governor of Egypt. Brought his dad in them and kept them and Blessed them with gold and silver. The 12, 12 tribes. Tribes, whatever that word is. Huh? 12 patriots. Jacob. Huh? If God can give them assurance to bring them out of that predicament, kept them 400 years in Egypt, I drew their enemy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If God can do that, I'm fully assured that he's able to supply my needs. <laughs> Not some of them, but all of them. Huh? All you got to do is stand on them, Sister April. Let hell or high water come, but stand on God. Don't let no hillbilly take you from God. Don't let no grunker take you from God. Don't let no sugar mama fool you from God. Don't let no sugar daddy take you from God. But stay with God with all your heart and strength. Stay with God. Don't let him down. Stay with God. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word, every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And I know I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. He is a very present help in the time of need. He's a joy. He's my strength. And he's my salvation. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And hunger, blessed are they with do thirst, hunger, and thirst after righteousness. These are the assurance benefits. These are the things that you are looking for. Jesus said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. And while I'm going away, you need to occupy. Hallelujah. Make the right preservation. Make the right assurance. How can I do that? Well, as my brother would say, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I remember Sunday's day at dinner. Hallelujah. And see, in this blessed hope, you need assurance. In order for you to get this assurance, he said, repent. Every one of you. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. My friend, I want you to know there is one plan for salvation. You can go to Egypt, you can go to Pakistan, you can go to uh, wherever you want to go but it's one plan one God God is a spirit and the Bible says we that worship God must worship him as spirit and in truth God got in the flesh in the person of Jesus Christ the Jews wanted to see something so they made a golden cat so they seen the golden calf, but the golden calf couldn't even talk to him. Huh? He couldn't answer their prayers. He couldn't, he couldn't meet them at the altar. He couldn't feel their infirmities. Isaiah 53 and 1, he said, Who have believed the report and to whom is the arm of the Lord has been revealed? If you know that you're feeling like you're lonely and you need somebody to keep you, you need somebody to know that he's going to see you through thick and thin. 